Okay, I will call to order the 71st meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research. Welcome, everybody. We have, as always, a busy uh, schedule ahead of us for the open session. And so without further ado, I'll turn this over to Rudy for a few items to be taken care of. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, let me remind the council members that uh, we're being uh, webcast and uh, video archived. Um, first, let me uh, uh, make mention of our council liaison, Ellen Giarelli from the International Society of Nurses and Genetics, Joe McInerney from the American Society of Human Genetics, James O'Leary from the Genetic Alliance, Rhonda Schonberg from the National Society of Genetic Counselors, and Michael Watson from the American College of Medical Genetics and Genomics. And Rhonda and Joe are with us in person today. Welcome. Uh, we have some new NHGRI employees, and our practice is to uh, introduce the employees to the council members. So when I call your name, would you please rise in the back? Uh, Melinda Rose. Melinda is a program assistant. Uh, she works the uh, front desk up on the fourth floor, and she generates lots of internal reports that are very useful for the staff for tracking grant applications and uh, reviews as they occur across uh, the NIH. Uh, she comes to us from the Child Health Institute, where she was a grants technical assistant and has uh, expertise in uh, running peer review meetings. Thank you, Melinda. Christine Chang. Christine is the new lead scientific program analyst in the extramural research program. Uh, in addition to participating in a, in a subset of the research activities that uh, go on, uh, she also has the responsibility to provide training and orientation for the new crop of program analysts that we recruit each year. Uh, Christine has a master's in uh, public health. She comes to us from the National Cancer Institute's Division of Cancer Control and Population Sciences where she spent three years as a research assistant working on cancer epidemiological studies. Thank you, Christine. Ken Wiley. Ken is a new program director in the Division of Genomic Medicine. Ken's doctoral training was in pharmacology, and his postdoctoral work was in epigenetics and bioinformatics. Uh, he's worked at the FDA in regulatory sciences and pharmacogenomics. Prior to his arrival at NHGRI, he was an associate at Booz Allen Hamilton, where he developed software tools for use in clinical trials. Ken will be working on the eMERGE and H3Africa pro uh, projects, and I'll be working with grants involving pharmacogenomics and bioinformatics. Thank you, Ken. David Kaufman. David is a new program director in the Division of Genomics and Society. David's training is in genetic epidemiology. Before coming to NHGRI, David was the Director of Research at the Genetics and Public Policy Center at Johns Hopkins University. Uh, David was an NIH grantee there, uh, conducting research on the engagement of stakeholders with interests in policy issues related to clinical genetics and genomic research. This is David's first day on the job, so we're not going to scare him to death by recounting all of the programs that he's going to be working on in uh, the LC research program, but he'll be deeply integrated in all those programs. And enjoy your fingerprinting ex experience today in the, yeah. <laughs> oh, we've already done it. Okay. <laughs> um, and because life is a cycle, we welcome the new and uh, we send out the old. Could I ask the following people if they're present to stand? Jessica Berry, Preetha Nandi, Kathy Sung, and Sherry Zhu. Uh, this is our graduating class of program analysts. They're all off to graduate programs in medical schools. Um, they have served us well. Uh, they make us proud, and we wish them uh, great success. So congratulations to all of you. Uh, I should also announce we have a couple of visitors, uh, Adam Berger from the Institute of Medicine and Reka A.R. from the Genetic Society of America. Uh, I call the council members' attention to the uh, future meeting dates uh, for the next uh, six meetings over the coming two years. Please have a look at those dates. Uh, communicate these to your assistants. Mark your calendars. If you see any schedule conflicts, talk to me and um, comfort about it. Okay? And Eric? Oh, that's a really good idea. I, when do we do that? Um, <laughs> You've seen a copy of the minutes from the February Council meeting. I'll ask if there are any comments or corrections that you'd care to make. And hearing none, I'll ask for you to approve the minutes. Can I have a motion to approve the minutes, please? Motion. 
A second. All in favor? Any opposed? Thank you. Okay, Eric, your director's report, please. 